Facebook Home seems to be both a phone and also an Android launcher. iOS 7 is looking into some launch delays and rumors of the new Nexus 7 have begun. I'm Jaime Rivera, man. No, I'm not being sponsored by Tommy Hilfiger, but wouldn't that be cool? This is Pocket Now Daily. For those of you wondering what will it be, a phone, an operating system, or an application, well, it seems that, well, it's going to be all three of them. Apparently, Facebook Home is a smartphone made by HTC, or probably that's just the demo unit that's being used for that. But apparently, this is a launcher as well that has integration or more focus on social media, obviously, Facebook. And then again, well, we'll have an April 4th event, which is tomorrow, to let you know what exactly this is going to be. And it just makes you wonder, I mean, if the Facebook application isn't the best thing out there. I mean, why would they want to do a phone now? Now let's move into the Galaxy S4. For those of you concerned that the pre-orders on April 16th are going to be for 250 bucks for the 16 gig model, well, Samsung has just confirmed that on AT&T this device will retail for 250 bucks for the 32 gig model, and then you can get the 16 gig for $200. So obviously, April 16th, let your wallets wait, and let's see what we get. Now let's talk about the Nexus 7. It is pretty much confirmed that Asus and Google will be building this tablet again together, which is actually a good thing, but apparently we will be getting a smaller bezel, a Snapdragon processor this time because the Tegra 3 was kind of a disappointment. We will also be getting better pixel density, and believe it or not, this thing will retail for 150 bucks. Now obviously a lot of things could happen from here to there. Apparently this device will be retailing in July, but obviously it'll most likely be launched at Google I.O., which happens in May, so stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. And speaking of events, we know that almost every major version of iOS has been launched at WWDC in June, but apparently iOS 7 is significantly delayed and apparently it's so bad that they've had to pull resources from OS 10 in order to work on iOS 7. Now we know that Scott Forstall is no longer there, iOS 6 is a significant mess, it is terrible. And we do know that this is the first collaboration between Craig Federici and Johnny Ive in iOS 7, so hopefully we will be getting something good on the table and most likely on time. So so stay tuned. And finally, for the nostalgic news of the day, today marks the 40th anniversary of the first cell phone call to happen between Motorola's Martin Cooper on his humongous Motorola Dynatac. Remember Saved by the Bell, that huge thing? between him and his AT&T competitor just to tell him that he had just won the competition. He had built the first cell phone. And think about it, how much has technology evolved? I mean, in the first 20 years, it wasn't really much. Phones were still humongous when I got my first one, but then eventually they got really small, thin, and now we get 4G LTE. So that leads me to the question of the day. Which was your first cell phone? And could you tell us your story about your first phone call? In my particular case, my first cell phone was a Nokia 250. You're gonna have a hard time finding photos of this phone, but the point being is that I was late for work and my first phone call was to call my boss and let her know that I was extremely late because I had slept in. So leave us a comment down below. What's your first story and your first phone? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hi, I'm Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.